In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make your match defense not glitch out against the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we provide every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now like I said, I wanted to break down a simple way that you can basically keep your cover four quarter match defense from glitching out against one of the most popular ways to glitch it out out of the gun bunch formation. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the Indianapolis Gun Bunch meta offense, and we're going to actually come out in our 4-6 defense. Now, um, the 3-3-5 to 3-3-5 normal, in my personal opinion, is the best um, is the best defense you can possibly run in this year's game from a coverage perspective. It also has, in my opinion, the best blitzing meta that you can utilize against the Gun Bunch to really force them to have to get rid of the ball on a timer. So that being said, I wrote a full defensive ebook on the 4-6 game plan, and and if you want to get that full 4-6 defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. And you can hit that link and go to the website. It'll take care of you. And if you also want to get a free sample, I did a one-hour free sample for my text message members. Um, so just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. It's completely free. You just have to text in. Again, my number is 208-218-6900. It's also at the top left-hand corner of your screen. So what I've done here is I've put the cover four show two in my audibles. Also really important, I've come out in the safety nickelback package out of the 335 normal. And this is my favorite little trick um, to just kind of help my match defense. So all we're gonna do is we're simply going to audible down to the cover four show two. Now I personally prefer to use your Wilcox. And the reason why is because um, number one, I think against trips formations, it gives you the best alignment. But number two, the other reason why I like to use your Wilcox is because what it allows me to do is if you think about it, the only route that you're gonna have to take in Madden when, you come, when it comes to quarters is the crossing route. The quarters always gets uh, kind of glitched out a little bit whenever an opponent runs a crossing route. So so by using Wilcox, we're going to be able to kind of alleviate that if there's a crosser that comes from right to left. So what we're going to do is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to press our coverage. And then if our linebacker goes over here, we're going to just move him over here. This is going to basically fake our pressure. So they might think that we're sending some pressure. They might block somebody or whatever. And then we're going to reset the linebackers. And you're going to notice here that it's going to create this kind of setup right here. The only other couple adjustments we're going to make is we're going to take our, we're going to do a very specific coverage adjustment. We're going to hit secondary, we're going to hit indivi or, um, individual, we're going to hit the R1 button to click onto the slot receiver in the gun bunch, and we're going to spotlight him. The reason we do that is because he's the problem player on a lot of things. Things like flood, he gets open. Things like the bomb I'm about to show you, he gets open. So this is going to help alleviate that problem. And then the last adjustment that we're going to make is we're going to put the defensive end on, or the defensive linebacker on the right side of the screen. We're going to put him into a bluff blitz. What you're going to see is that's going to put him into a three red hook and allows us to take our middle linebacker, put him in any zone that we want. I personally prefer the middle read zone. So you see here, this is what we've got basically crafted as a three man rush uh, with a coverage defense in behind it. Now, what you're going to see is if I go to the play verticals and I put the R1 receiver on a streak, and I just motion out Brown. This was a very good cover four quarters bomb uh, play and cover six and more, even more so. Um, but what you're gonna see here is this does a phenomenal job. The mid read is going to match up field. You're gonna play verticals really, really well. Now, the beauty of this is this is also very, very effective against the double post or the deep crosser uh, kind of meta thing that people will do. So I'll show you that again. So we're just gonna come down again. If this guy goes like this, please, 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 please move him over here. It just bluffs the pressure, makes him think that you might be sending some heat. And then we're gonna do our adjustments. And as you see, we're super fast adjustments, super easy to set up. And then from there, I'm gonna go to the verticals play. And if you see a crossing route, that is pretty much your responsibility. So as you see here, it matches accordingly and the defense plays very effectively. Now the beauty of this is not only in the fact that we can take away things like crossing routes with our user, but it's also very important to point out that if they run something like a traditional gun bunch, little flood concept, uh, little flood concept uh, to the middle of the field, we're gonna be in a pretty good position against that as well. So let me show you that real quick. Again, if this guy goes over here, please 
just move him over here. This just kind of disguises uh, some pressure, maybe makes him think whatever. Um, and then you're going to put him in a mid read, obviously, and then just make sure you spotlight that guy. So you see here, here's our setup. Super simple. You can blitz your user if you want to. I personally don't prefer to do that because I feel like with match defense, it's more effective if you don't blitz your user. But anyways, you're going to see right here that if they run this this kind of simple flood concept, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. Obviously, I'm not able to make the interception, but I'm in a decent enough spot to be able to take that away. Now, let me show you one other thing. I didn't show you the flood concept. I showed you something else here. So let me get that flood concept set up for you real quick here um, so that I can show this to you. Uh, and again, just reset your linebackers and then you're just going to manually move this guy over if he's on the left side. Typically, typically he will actually go down on the other side. You want him to go down into the A-gap on the right side because that really bluffs the pressure. But what you'll see here is against that match defense. Now, take a look at how that matches really well and we're able to take away the corner route or the flood concept that a lot of people like to run out of gun bunch. Not only are we able to take away that corner route, but let me show you, we're able to take away any corner route. So I've got Hot Route Master kind of booted up here just so I can show a couple different route combinations. And what you're going to see here is we're going to be able to take away pretty much all of the flooding concepts from Bunch, whether it be to the tight end, whether it be to the circle receiver, it does not matter. We're going to be in a good position to at least you know, defer and really put them in a tough position. You're going to see here this corner route to circle, perfect match defense, and we're able to take that away. So what this does is it forces them to have to take the underneath now the other thing that i didn't talk about yet because i don't have the play booted up here in practice mode so i'm going to show you kind of a, a, a abbreviated version of double post uh with just some hot routes but this is going to play really really well against double post so this is kind of a abbreviated uh version of double post but what i want you to watch is how good of a job this uh this mid read zone does this mid read is becoming probably my favorite zone of the game for any kind of thing over the middle that they might do uh, i absolutely love Love this middle read zone and what you're going to see here is we go ahead and we set up our, our setup and i want you to watch this little post route you're going to see that the mid read will completely bag that obviously i'm coming right back in that area as well and again obviously i'm not able to make the interception and the user in both controllers trying to throw the ball but if you take a look at instant replay the first, like the, the big thing about Gun Bunch is this snap throw crossers and snap throw posts. And as you see, this guy's going to take all that away. So it gives me time as a user to be able to kind of see what's going on and then recover back in this area right here and be able to take that away. So this is a way that you can create, I think, one of the better match coverages in the game to be able to alleviate a lot of the things that people like to do out of the Gun Bunch. Now, the one thing that I didn't go over, um, and I'll highlight just real quick from an instant replay perspective if you watch this running back route you're going to see that this running back route is is open but what i will tell you is that you can take this linebacker and if you want to you don't have to put him in a three rack you could put him in um, a vertical hook a hard flat you can man him up on the running back there's a lot of things that we can do to deal with that running back in route that can be effective i'll give you a cup i'll give you just one quick example um, of that so again here we're going to need to move this guy over we put him in a middle read zone and then what we can do is we can take the linebacker and we could you know put him in a hard flat and then take the defensive end and put him in the three wreck now we're only blitzing two but you know you're going to get decent sheds and you're going to be fine and now you're, this is where an example where i would recommend blitzing your user just because um you're going to need that additional you're going to need that additional uh support in case they run the ball but most people aren't going to run into a front like this i would you I would be very surprised if they do. But now you're going to see that the in route to the running back is going to be completely bagged with that hard flat over there. Obviously, you know, flats and Madden 22 are kind of insane. But you see he's in an area. So this gives you a chance to be able to play very effective defense against Gun Bunch. So I wanted to share this with you today. And if you want a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial on my 4-6 uh, defensive guide. I would encourage you to get my defensive ebook. It's only fifteen dollars, so it's super affordable. All you got to do is click the link in the web. Click the link that's in the description below, and it'll take you to the website. You'll be able to get the defensive guide for just fifteen dollars. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.